So um, mine is the Elgato Capture HD60 S Plus. Um, this actually, I think a long time ago, I reviewed Elgato's, I think it was the HD60. Uh, I think um, I think I also have the HD60 I got on your recommendation too. That's what we've been using for like when we used to use iPad on here, and mm -hmm. in, our, in our game capture a lot. So the interesting thing with OBS, is, so on the iPad capture, um, OBS actually has a plugin that you need nothing other than to just plug your iPad into the computer to bring it up on screen, and that's actually how we're doing the nice. two up mode. Nice. Um, where I ran into a problem was OBS with the Elgato devices. It didn't support the HD60, which is the one that I think that we, we both had. Mm -hmm. There was a crazy plug-in rigmarole that you had to do for the HD60S. And then OBS out of the box supports the HD60S Plus. The thing that really bummed me out is there's actually like a 4K box that they sell that does like off, it can stream on the, it can connect to your computer and record locally on a mic or on an SD card. Um, that's not supported by Mac OS for mm. some reason. Mm. Um, so the only thing that I could use, and, and we were trying to figure out how we were going to do Xbox games, um, and that's kind of where the HD 60 S Plus um, came into play. I've had really good results with it um, with the Xbox so far. I think we're going to look at Fall Guys as well for PlayStation. Nice. Um, so that'll probably come into play on the PlayStation. The other thing that I noticed, and I don't think it's any fault of Elgato's, but... Um, what I had tried to do is I have all of my gaming systems plugged into a receiver. I tried to put plug in the Elgato in between the receiver and the TV. And in, instead of in between the device and the receiver, um, and something that the receiver was doing was causing it to like constantly drop. But as soon as I had the, the console plugged directly into the, the Elgato and then the Elgato into the receiver and then out to the TV. Um, it's been perfect. And the one thing that I like about this device, and I may actually try it with the iPad, um, is OBS doesn't have audio support for the iPad when you bring it in from their kind of native plugin type stuff. Mm -hmm. So I can't bring in any of the game sound, whereas the HD60, I can use some of its stuff to bring the HDMI audio in. Um, so I'm hoping that I'm, I'm, what I'm interested in next is if I take the old HD 60 and the new HD 60 S plus, um, can I somehow bring them in together for a, for a two up view? Like we do. Are we talking about like daisy chaining them or just as separate inputs? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't, or maybe if we're, since we're both playing the same game, the audio will be somewhat. Yeah. Close. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Um, so, but uh, the thing that I was impressed with is obviously Elgato, I think, has a pretty good piece of software for their game capture, which will, mm -hmm. you know, set up your Twitch stream, set up multiple streams. Um, I don't need that from the OBS perspective, but the device, I literally plugged it in and it just worked. Nice. Um, nice. It came up as a video source and I was ready to go. And I see the S Plus is also uh, USB-C and everything, so like you're you're ready to go on the, on the Mac. You know, obviously a problem. I have found that, and, and this is something I'm trying to figure out too. And I think I picked I picked up a new Black Magic box input box uh, for this very reason. Like I feel like every because I have several um, Lightning adapters for mm -hmm. for Black Magic inputs, and I don't think any of them work on my Mac um, across the board. Like even when I go over to like a Windows 10 side. Um, it just doesn't work with the hardware, uh, and I haven't been able to suss that out. Um, but uh, no, it, it, the, yeah, these things are great. It's, I mean, I guess I've had that for a while, but um, but it's good to see that, that they're getting that compatibility on the Mac side. Because yeah. What was weird too, though, now that you mentioned it with the USB cable and the USB-C, mm -hmm. so the HD60S Plus is USB-C on device, but it comes with a cable that's USB-A, like the big on the really? one side and the USB-C on the other. Really? And I tried 
about six different USB-C to USB-C cables that I had. Yeah. And every one of them threw an error. Well, you're pa- you also remember you're powering that over USB, and and I I, I think the USB C cords have a rating problem. I'm one. So what was weird is the Elgato Game Capture app was the only one that would actually give me what the true error was, and it was that your I wasn't plugging into a USB three hub, mm. which mm. I know. I mean, I was plugging directly into the Mac, so yeah. it was something to do with the cable. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Oh, okay. The uh, Elgato HD 60 Plus is the S new plus. one. S Plus. I, I forgot all the things. All right. All the-